People have been interested in the relationship between smoking and all different kinds of health outcomes. And one of the most important things to examine is how does this relationship change over time? One of the most interesting things about anxiety is that we know that smoking, if you start doing it when you're young, that will actually place you at risk for having anxiety. So we know that it's the smoking in many instances that comes before the anxiety. And that's important for a lot of reasons. For, for one, uh, it's another good reason to tell kids why it's not a good idea to smoke. Because if you smoke, uh, you know, it can lead to all different kinds of bad things. Not just bad things for your body, for your heart, and for your lungs, but also bad things for your mind and bad things for how you feel. The second thing it tells us is it tells us that there is this important connection between how our body works and specifically how our lungs work and how we feel, and particularly about anxiety, how we feel uh, from an anxiety standpoint. So there are a lot of reasons not to smoke, uh, both in terms of what it does for your body, but then also what it does for your mind.